So do I really need this? This is something that I've been pondering now for quite some time, and I think I finally convinced myself that I do need it. And I'll explain why. Let's get on it. So why did I decide to get this? Well, let me take you through it. So in all my other videos, you're familiar with my K-Bar pocket knife. It's a great knife, don't get me wrong. It's got a fairly solid spline and a nice grind, making it very, very thin, great for cutting. But if you notice, if you look at my knuckles right here, or my first set of knuckles, it barely gets on that point. And I've caught myself a couple times, if I'm not paying attention, where I've almost cut my finger. It's really good. But as you can tell, there's not much room for my knuckle. So that's one of the reasons why I think it's time for me to upgrade. I've got other knives like my Mora. But as you can see, again, when it comes to cutting and writing my knuckle, I don't have that much space and with the type of grind that's on the Mora it makes it more likely for me to cut my finger so if I use a chef knife like this at home why would I not want a chef knife while I'm out camping now if you are a backpacker or a camper that prefers dehydrated food, then you don't need this. If you're someone who goes out camping on the weekends, doing some overlanding, this is perfect for you. So let's take a look at what I bought. I purchased the Firebox Folding Chef Knife. Looks like it comes in a neoprene case. It's very flexible. It is fabric. It does have a leather tab. It says Firebox on there. And there she is. Beautiful. Compared to my other knives, you can see that the blade is noticeably thinner. Comparing it to the more, you can see that it's noticeably thinner, but it's not thin or as thin as I would say like an open L pocket knife. That is absolutely beautiful. Where does it balance? Looks like it balances just perfect. If you notice, you do have a nice grip to put your fingers when you're cutting or chopping. It is a little bit offset on the blade so that when you are rocking like that, you're not grinding your knuckles into the board. All around, it is just a beautiful knife. If you look at the chef knife, it's nice and thin. It's not too thick, not too thin where it's going to flex too much on you. But if you notice how wide it is compared to the other knives, almost double in width. Let's do a measurement here. So we're looking at roughly about uh, 
I would say almost just a little over an inch and a half. Yeah, inch and a half. If you want to look at that in centimeters, we're looking roughly about, let's see here, a little over four centimeters. Yeah, a little, a little over four centimeters in thickness. So it's fairly wide, which makes it really nice for cutting. It's nice and flat. There's no hollow grind to it. You would notice that it's fairly flat. So when it comes to, you know, getting, getting your fingertips out of the way, as you can see here, makes it a lot safer for my fingers. Now, the main reason why I decided to get this folding knife is because of this right here. My eyes have not been getting any younger and it's and it's taken a lot out of me um, you know to really get focused and I need a pair of glasses um, reading glasses at least so so this is one of the main reasons why I decided to get this was because of my failing eyes and also safety so I mean if you're going out camping you know you want to enjoy yourself the last thing that anybody wants is to have any type of cut on their finger um, it doesn't matter you know if it's a small cut the chances of that cut bothering you for the whole trip and just ruining everything for you is 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 there the possibility is there why not eliminate that possibility or reduce that risk by actually buying something that's fairly or relatively cheap this is worth every penny there is nothing better than having the right tool for the job and this is definitely something that is i'm really really excited about length or fully open You're looking almost close to an 11 inch blade, probably 11 and three quarters inches in centimeters. You're looking roughly about 27 and a half centimeters. So that's a very big knife and it balances really well. It feels really good. The grip is really, is really nice. It's, it's, it's big, but it's not too big. But it's good enough that I still feel the agility to, to move the knife around. But hey, let's put it to the test. Let's cut some stuff up, huh?
Thanks again for watching. If you enjoy content like this, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Once again, have a good burn.